yeah hi all in the last session we checked how we can perform t uh, we can perform the join using t map and we identified few of the similarities between t join and t map uh, in this session we will check what all are the differences between t join and t map there are few differences uh, which cannot be done in t join but can be done uh, can be done in t map we will just uh, try to uh, identify those uh, differences between uh, few of the differences between t join and t map so first of all in t join what we checked earlier t join allows only two source system to get joined one will be lookup and one will be the main but in t map we can have more than one uh, we can have more than two source system so currently in this job i have two uh, a source one is employee team and one is department team employee is the driver and lookup uh, and department is my lookup in join i can only have these two links but in team app i can if i want to join more than uh, uh, two source system at the same time i should be going for team app now let me pull this employee salary And let me join this by right clicking on this main to connect to DMAP. So now you can see uh, my employee dimension is the main, and department dimension is the lookup, and this employee salary is also the lookup. So now we have already set the joining condition between uh, employee and uh, the department in the last session and uh, here we had added one more source system that is uh, employee salary so we need to join that how we will join it we will be joining it with the uh, department uh, table so let me uh, join that let me minimize this. If I want to minimize this row four, I can just click on this. So to minimize any of the table, uh, I can just click, there is an option here. I can just click on that. Now it got restored. If I again click on it, you can see the pop-up comes as minimized. So it will get minimized. Now here, I want to join this row three, that is the employee dimension with employee salary dimension, that is row five on employee ID. So how I can do, I can just drag this particular employee ID to this. And I'll I will change the joining properties for this. I'll make it as inner join. So here we identified one difference uh, between T join and T map. In T map, we can have we can join multiple source system. If there are more than two source system and we want to join it simultaneously, we can do that using T map. Now let's run the data. Wait, I need to propagate the data from department table to sorry from a salary table to this output. This got included in this particular column. I'll remove it. 
because these are uh, these will are the two new columns. Now let me pull this particular department name to that up. Okay. And the same two column, I'll add it in the reject as well. Now let's run this. Now let's check the data. You can see here I'm getting the department ID and department name. And from uh, salary also, I'm getting the salary information. Okay, so this is how we will perform the join operation. If we have multiple join uh, to be done, uh, more, than one, uh, more than two source system to be joined at the same time, we can prefer TMAP instead of T-join. Let's check few other functionalities. We can see here match model. So match model, we have unique match. Suppose say I have duplicate in my uh, lookup. So it will uh, try to uniquely, it will identify what is the unique uh, uh, column. It will try to identify only one of them and it will do the match if there are multiple rows. There is one more option, first match. So while traversing the data from the lookup, what suppose say there are two or three records with same key, it the first match that happens that will be considered here. All match means it will join with all the tables, all the records which gets matched to this particular key, those will be joined. So these all are few of the functionalities that we have extra in T uh, in T join uh, in T map, which are not present in uh, T join. Here we have one more functionality that is lookup model. Lookup model is load once. Load once means whenever we are trying to do the join, all the lookups will be loaded once. Okay, and there is one more option, reload at each row. Each time a record is getting uh, pulled from this driver, it will try to reload the record uh, into, uh, it will try to reload the record once again for each lookup, for, for each join that we, uh, for each record that we get from source, it will try to reload. And the reload at each row catch means if we are trying to load the record uh, for each record that we uh, pull from source, it will try to reload and store it in catch. So these all are the functionalities that we have extra in TMAP, which is not present in uh, TJoin. I hope this session is helpful. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel to stay tuned to, for further updates.
Thank you.